my pleasure uh, to present the highlights uh, on peripheral intervention in 2016 during this Euro PCR. I'm Antoine Soguet, I'm acting as interventional cardiologist, more dedicated for the peripheral interventions. And uh, it's my pleasure today to ask Alberto which was the highlights during the Congress. Antoine, probably the most important theme uh, during this uh, Congress was uh, carotidate stenting. Carotidate stenting, uh, great debate last year, but today what we can state uh, is that uh, with the, the new advancement uh, is at least equivalent to carotidate and arterectomy for the majority of patients. New stents uh, are becoming uh, in our daily practice uh, what we can implant uh, in the majority of patients, double layer mesh stent uh, are demonstrating uh, a great safety even uh, in uh, symptomatic patient. Actually this kind of uh, advancement, technical advancement uh, is going to resolve uh, the main problem of carotid artery stenting which was uh, late embolic events embolic events after the procedure. If I could add something concerning embolic events, when we use the protection device, probably for symptomatic patient at this time, it's better to use some proximal protection device and in case of asymptomatic patient, to use some distal protection device filter. And second question, Alberto, um, we have seen that today it was feasible and safe for the patient to perform a fully percutaneous approach for the treatment of infrarenal aortic aneurysm. What's your feeling? My feeling that this kind of fully percutaneous uh, uh, approach for uh, infrarenal abdominal aneurysm uh, is uh, feasible in the majority of our uh, labs we are really prone as interventional as cardiologists to, do, to go toward this specific approach. Imagine that we can apply the similar approach we have for TAVI, for example, means the pre-implantation of a suture device and then we go up with our low profile devices for uh, infrarenal abdominal aneurysm. And uh, today, actually, what we can state, uh, and we have seen Euro, during Euro PCR, we have this low profile device, 12 uh, French, 14 French for the majority of patients. I fully agree with you, Alberto, and uh, probably in the future, it could uh, uh, stimulate some uh, quite ambulatory uh, procedure for the patient. And we have discussed carotid level, we have discussed abdominal level, and what about the femoropopliteal level? Is there some emerging technologies or devices uh, today in uh, 2016? What uh, we can wrap up from the many sessions dedicated to uh, superficial femoral artery, popliteal and below the knee intervention, uh, really important things. We have today great drag eluting balloons, drag eluting stents and other technologies uh, we can uh, dedicate to the specific uh, lower limb lesion. But Antoine, you are really expert. Can you tell me, teach me uh, in uh, this direction, what is your favorite uh, uh, approach for, for example, uh, uh, popliteal artery. For the popliteal artery and other bending zones like Oster lesion of the SFA, very close to the common femoral artery, in 2016 we will use some directional arterectomy plus drug coated balloon uh, therapy to avoid to put a stent in these bending zones and uh, we will stimulate the concept of nothing uh, to left behind. Thank you, Alberto. So I think that we have discussed uh, all the major highlights during this Euro PCR 2016 dedicated for peripheral interventions. <laughs>